Winners, buck kickers, champions in life. Vincent Rose here, the fat killer with HGG Fitness, coming to you from Starbucks. And uh, I hope everybody is having an amazing Monday morning thus far. We just came out of Easter weekend. Hopefully you had a great time with friends, family, and loved ones. And uh, got your batteries recharged and all that kind of fun stuff. And now it is a brand new week. It is a brand new day. And it's a brand new chance to... um, Follow your heart and make progress in the pursuit of your goals, right? And with that being said, the title of this message is this, reason or excuse, right? We all got things we're passionate about. We all got things that we're trying to chase down. We're all got things that we're trying to achieve. And in the pursuit of achieving these things, right, there's things that present themselves to us that we can choose to view as a reason to keep doing what we're doing. Or we can choose to view as an excuse to stop doing what we're doing. What are some things that can come into your way that will fall under the umbrella of something that you can choose as a reason or an excuse? And for Hodges, Gilbert, Alexandra, John, I'm not going to say your last name because I slaughtered it last time. Welcome. But recapping. Right? We all got things that are important to us and things present themselves that we can choose as a reason or an excuse. What are the main things that fall under this umbrella? The first one is going to be time. I don't have time to do fill in the blank. And um, that can be a reason or an excuse, right? Because when some people don't have enough time to accomplish the things that they want to achieve, they get upset and they go, you want to know what? I can't because I don't have time. Other people will go, want to know what? I don't really have the time, but I'm going to make the time because I want to get time back. And unless I get this stuff done, it's not going to happen. If it's not me, then who? If it's not now, then when? If it's not this, then what? I'll let it fall on shoulders, on my shoulders. It'll be on me and I'll take care of it, right? We got things that are important to us but we have children. Children require a lot of time. And some people use their children as their reason for succeeding, and other people use their children as their excuse. Let me tell you something about children. The greatest thing that you could ever be in your child's life is an example. And the greatest example that you could ever set for your children is showing them what success looks like, showing them what it means to overcome showing them what it means to put forth hard work, showing them what it means to have a work ethic, showing them what it means to be committed, showing them what it means to overcome the obstacles, showing them what it means to win. And you can use your children as an excuse not to win in your life and set a bad example for them, or you can use them as the reason to overcome the odds odds and succeed and show your children what success looks like. Is that convenient? Success is never convenient. Is it doing the right thing? Doing the right thing is never easy. Is it worth it? If your child grows up and learns how to succeed because they seen you succeeding, yeah, it was worth it. So I encourage you to do that. Money! I can't do this because I don't have the money! Is that a reason or an excuse? It is so easy to create income that is laughable. It truly is. I would like to get in better shape. I could hire a coach, but I don't have the money for it. How much does your coach cost? X amount of dollars. What do you need to do to create extra extra cash that you can fill that? And I don't... You can go donate blood. You can go mow some people's lawns. You can have a yard sale. You can do whatever it is that you need to do. But if you have a lack of money, go make some money. Well, I'm already making some money. I work my job. How many hours are you working? 40. How many hours are there in a week? 168. Work more. (laughs) Never. All right, look. I'm going to leave y'all with this. This doesn't need to be long-winded. Never let a lack of time prevent you from creating more time. Never let a lack of money 
prevent you from putting yourself in a position to make more money. Never let a lack of a blessing in your life prevent you from being a blessing in somebody else's life. We all have things we want to achieve. We all have obstacles or distractions or things that come up that we can allow to either be an excuse for us not getting the job done or they can be the reason that we get the job done. My son is not an excuse in my life. He is a reason. The income I do or do not make is not an excuse in my life. It is a reason. I don't like the amount of money that I make. Are you going to complain about it and make that as an excuse? Or are you going to make more money and make it a reason? Are you going to let your uncomfort with where you're at be the reason that you do more? Or are you going to put your thumb in your mouth and suck? I don't have time. Do you like not having time? No, I hate it. So are you going to complain about it and use it as an excuse? Or are you going to find a way to create more time in your life and have it be the reason? It is... The difference between whether or not you use something as a reason or an excuse is this. Whenever something surfaces, it makes you uncomfortable. And some people, whenever they get uncomfortable, they gripe, complain, moan, and do nothing. And other people, they're uncomfortable, they hate it. They don't like where they're at, and they go, bet that. Here's my reason, it gives me motivation, I'm inspired, I'm already pretty spread thin, but I'm gonna spread myself thinner, I'm gonna burn the candle at both ends, and come hell or high water, I'm gonna get the job done, baby. Because I read something once that said, when I let go of all of my excuses, I found all of my results. I want you to have results in your life. And if you have more reasons than excuses, you will. With that, over and out. Vincent Rose, the Fat Killer with H2G Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Over and out. How's that for a Monday morning moto message? I love y'all. Peace.